<sighs> Man, those were some good times. Mean Joe, kicking flank and taking names. <sighs> wow, what an experience. Oh, hey, speak of the devil. Oh. Hey, Joe, what's going on? Hey, Tech, what are you up to? Oh, just watching our old BronyCon footage. Again? Do you ever watch a video that doesn't have you in it? Not really. Well, are you as excited as I am about this year's BronyCon? Oh, yeah. We're going to totally top what we did last year. Absolutely. I can't wait. It will be great working together again. We were pretty good together, weren't we? Not bad at all. It's just a shame that Mason and Moose weren't able to help us with the coverage. True. I bet they would have been great. In fact, I wonder what it would have been like if they were there. Hmm. Uh, the camera, are you laughing behind the camera? He's having to... <laughs> <laughs> There's 16 people in the room. You can't see it behind the camera, but everybody's in diapers. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Perfect Bladder Control. All right, I didn't know that was a requirement for this fandom. You guys are jerks. Getting out of here. The extension here is horrible. It's just, it's just, uh, right. <clears throat> I'm not gonna touch. Well, we love that silliness, and it's just curious. Is it? Cha what is the challenge of making as silly a story as possible, but still keeping a good narrative? And in the end. From the T to the W I. Anyone see my pants? I was was going shop for shop with Brick McKillop. I don't have any more pants now. Because I only brought one pair. I do. I do. Thank you. Thank you very much. On second thought, maybe it wouldn't have been such a good idea. Right. Well, uh, <laughs> at least we don't have to worry about that for this year's BronyCon, right? I, I mean, it's just going to be you and I again, right? <laughs> right? Uh, Tech, there's something I need to tell you. That's right. Joe, Tech, Moose, and Mason will be at BronyCon 2013 as part of Everfree Network's professional live stream. They will be providing floor coverage, exclusive interviews, and the usual random silliness that you've come to expect from EQI. After all, who else is better at filling in those tiny bits of dead air between panels? Well, okay, Nash was pretty good at Everfree Northwest. He does have a great personality and a wicked haircut, but does his voice sound as sexy as this? The answer is no. Get ready, everypony, because Equestria Inquirer is back in action. <laughs> it will be fine, Tech. Don't worry. Uh, uh, here, here, look. It's Plank. See, Plank. He always cheers you up. Why would you say such things? He's in a delicate position. <laughs>